Has your doctor just prescribed you ceftriaxone? And now you wonder how should you use it or what side effects it can cause? Then this video is meant for you. We will cover everything you need to know, so make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. For those of you who are meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and it's my mission to medically educate my viewer, you, so you can make healthier decisions. But always remember, I'm just a random doctor from the internet, I know nothing about your personal situation, so always contact your own doctor with personal questions. Let's get started. So the generic name of this medication is ceftriaxone and is available under the brand name Rospin and it's available as an injection or through IV. Usually your doctor or your nurse will inject ceftriaxone as a fluid into your butt muscle or into a vein. The injection into the muscle will only take a few seconds, but the injection into the vein needs to be done slowly over the course of 5 minutes. As mentioned, ceftriaxone can also be given through IV, which usually takes about 30 minutes. Ceftriaxone is part of a group of antibiotics called cephalosporins. It is a third generation broad spectrum antibiotic, which can be used to treat infections with several types of bacteria. For example, an infection of your respiratory tract, like a pneumonia or an exacerbation of COPD, an infection of your skin, like a wound infection, a gastrointestinal infection, like an infection of your stomach, or your intestines, an infection of your urogenital tract, like a urinary tract infection, or an STI like syphilis, and it can be used preemptively before or after surgery. Which brings us to the correct dosages to use, and here it is important for me to mention that I can only provide you with some guidelines. Your specific dose will depend on the severity of your symptoms, the indication of use, and the side effects you might experience. Therefore, always use the dose and frequency your doctor prescribed you. But in the case of ceftriaxone, your doctor might most likely prescribe you a dose of 0.5 grams up to 4 grams of ceftriaxone once per day, ranging from a treatment duration of 1 day up to 14 days. Ceftriaxone can be a very effective drug, but unfortunately it can also cause side effects. I will discuss the most common ones in this video, but if you're looking for a complete list, always ask your doctor or your pharmacist or check your leaflet. Commonly, it might cause diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, a skin rash, an allergic reaction, or changes in your blood values. Uncommonly, it might cause a headache, dizziness, or vertigo. Rarely, it can cause a fever, chills, or genital yeast infection. Very rarely, it might cause a gastrointestinal hemorrhaging, inflammation of your pancreas, or blood clotting abnormalities. Which brings us to the safety of use. And here it is important to mention that you can combine ceftriaxone with any type of food and it's safe to combine it with alcohol, although do so in moderation. Furthermore, ceftriaxone can have interactions with other drugs you're taking, therefore always discuss this with your personal doctor. For those of you that are pregnant or that are breastfeeding, ceftriaxone can most often be used safely. But again, this is also something you should discuss with your personal doctor. I hope you now know how to use ceftriaxone, but if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. And for those of you that want to keep on learning, check out the playlist in the description or up there. Because educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this channel. I want to thank you all for watching. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thank you, Sebastian, who is an investor to your supporter. And for those of you that can't get enough, check out my Instagram as well, at how to medicate, and click the like and subscribe button. This will help out the channel tremendously and helps me to reach my new subscriber milestone, 100,000 subscribers. Thank you all once more and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye.